simulating output voltage waveforms for a step down chopper using MATLAB Simulink. The circuit diagram for obtaining this output voltage waveforms looks something like this. In this, this ideal switch behaves like a chopper. So when this chopper is turned on, the input voltage is connected to the load as a result of which current I flows through the load. This in turn charges the inductor as well as an output voltage is obtained across this diode. But as soon as this chopper turns off, the input supply is disconnected from the load, but still the current will continue to flow and this flow of current is due to the freewheeling action of this diode which allows the current to flow due to the discharge of this inductor L. So these characteristics can be visualized with the help of these uh, waveforms. So in this waveforms, when this chopper is turned on, a DC output voltage is obtained across the diode, but as soon as the chopper turns off, the output voltage becomes zero. So in this way, we can say that the input DC wave is chopped, but contrary to this thing, the current remains continuous. This is due to the freewheeling action of the diode due to the presence of inductor. So let's proceed on to MATLAB Simlink and let's try to simulate these output waveforms. So let's open MATLAB Simlink. Let's create a blank model. In this blank model, let's try to recreate the circuit diagram. So for the reference, let me just copy and paste the images of the circuit diagram. So having pasted the images, let me start by designing this circuit diagram. For that, I'll be using Simscape power system toolboxes. And the first thing I require is a voltage source. So let me go to the electrical sources and let me just drag and drop the voltage source. So for the chopper, I'll use an idle switch and that I can find in the power electronics library. Here I can uh, search for idle switch and I can drag and drop it. The another thing I require is diode which is present uh, in the same library. So here is diode. Uh, for the load, I'll be using RLC series branch that I can find in the elements group. So I'll uh, drag and drop the series RLC branch. So I'll right click it and drag to duplicate it. So one of the branch is simple inductance and the another branch is the load which is simply resistive. So I'll change the values accordingly. So let me connect all these entities as per my circuit diagram. Okay, now all my entities are connected. To control the idle switch, I require one more block and for that I'll use pulse generator block. That I can directly call by writing pulse in the model itself. So the first one is pulse generator and I'll connect it to this idle switch. So let me update the characteristics of this pulse generator. So the amplitude is fine, period. Since I'm uh, simulating this model for 10 seconds, so let me keep the period as 3 seconds. So the pulse repeats after every 3 seconds. And as far as the pulse width is co uh, concerned, I can see that the chopper remains turned on for almost 70% of the time. So I can change it to 70%. So th this means that the chopper will be active for 70% of the duration of a single pulse. Circuit is complete and in order to visualize the waveforms, I require one more block and for that I will call the scope block. So this is my scope block. Let me just increase the number of ports by right clicking it and increasing the number of ports to 3. So before using this block, I will have to insert the measurement devices also. So let me go to the library. Let me go to the measurement blocks. And I require both current measurement as well as the voltage measurement blocks. So I'll uh, duplicate it by right clicking and dragging. So one of the voltage is the output voltage that is across this diode. And the second voltage is across the load. As far as the current measurement is concerned, it is connected in the series with the load. So let me connect. Okay, having connected all these uh, measurement devices, let me connect the output of the input voltage to the first terminal of scope, the output voltage to the second terminal of scope and the current measurement device to the third terminal of scope. So let me simulate this model. But before simulating, I have to add one more block that is power GUI block. So let me simulate this model. So let's double click the scope 
block to find out the output voltage waveforms. So let me change the layout in order to visualize properly. So now my three waves are distinguished in three different graphs. So the first one is input DC voltage, the second one is output DC voltage and the third one is the current. But the current waveform does not look similar to the dart discussed in the theory part. Why is it so? It's because the value of this inductor is very less. Due to this less value of inductor, it cannot get charged to very high value. So if I increase the value of this inductance to 100 milli ohm and again simulate this model, I'll get a little better waveform of the current. And if I further increase the value to 1000 milli Henry, I will get a continuous current waveform. And now I can see that this current waveform looks similar to that discussed in the theory. So in this way, we can simulate the output voltage waveform as well as current waveforms of a step down chopper with the help of MATLAB simulink. So that's it for this video. I'll share the .slx file along with this video. So thank you.